I'm looking for the Guildmaster. Driscoll, I was told. Well, that'd be me. And who are you? It's not often I see an unfamiliar face. Not from around here, I gather. No? And I'm looking for work. Sorry, pal, but this is a special organization. You can't just waltz in off the street and get a job here. I'm not waltzing. I don't even dance. You think a smart mouth like that's gonna help you get work? Sorry, I'm, I'm just new to everything. I just need to get to know the city, and from what I heard, this seemed to be the best way to do it. And to make an honest wage. And I was a pilgrim, if that helps. A pilgrim, you see? I've heard about your kind. It's hardly a recommendation. <sighs> Look, you said you were a special group. What's so special about the Carrier's Guild? We work for the people, not just for cash on the barrel head. Carriers deliver packages and letters all over the city. I did a lot of that as a pilgrim. It's a valuable service. It's priceless. And not just because of the fees we collect, you merc. Packages and letters are information. Information 
is the lifeblood of a society. It's also the connective tissue. Brings people together. And it can tear them apart. Yeah, I definitely get that. Ah, oh, like hell you do. Pilgrims are just pure play. You don't have any higher purpose. But carriers. The carriers are the trusted stewards of this system of information and connection. In our way, we safeguard society, protect and defend information. We keep people connected to one another. I see what you mean. It sounds like a huge responsibility. Damn right it is. Which is why not every Tom, Dick, Harry, or shady pilgrim is cut out to be a carrier. Please. I just want to help. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, you can just bugger off. Have yourself a wonderful day. Sure you don't need me? Looks like you're running low on carriers. Aye. Things have gotten more dangerous than usual lately. Maybe I'm trying to do you a favor by not bringing you in at this particular juncture. I'm a pilgrim. I know danger. Outside the walls, danger. Oh, do you now? I tell you what. How about I give you a little test, and we see how that goes. Works for me. Test away. Okay, hotshot. Let's see what you're made of. First, you need to make your way to the top of a building nearby and bring back a package that was left by one of ours. Should be lying somewhere by a tent. Is that all? <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Glad you came along when you did. Thank you. doing a few days ago i thought i saw a bird of prey in the sky it was bigger than a kestrel more like a sparrow hawk it's been bothering me after all nothing lives here at least nothing should so many chemicals here can't even find rats that's true so i dug up my old bird call tapes and i'm trying to lure it back and how's that going <sighs> poorly Either I hallucinated, or it's playing hard to get. Maybe you're not speaking its language. I am, I am! Sparrowhawks are hardwired to respond to the call of another male encroaching on his territory. How do you know so much about this? I'm a bird watcher. Or at least I was, back when there were more birds alive than just crows. So, what, you spied on birds? Watch them! <laughs> I mean, maybe there is a bit of voyeurism in it. Birds are fascinating. What are you gonna do? 
I could try one more trick, but I can't do it alone. I'd like to play the calls from a very high place, without anyone around, even myself. <laughs> do you have any particular very high place in mind? The radio tower. This may sound crazy, but if you could do this, it might draw him out and I could observe from here with my binoculars. Makes sense. You think so? Can you help me with this? I can't promise anything. Of course. But if you do decide to help, take this tape recorder. It will definitely come in handy. By the way, I'm Adrian. I'm Aiden. I'll get in touch. I hope it will answer the call. Yeah. Perfect prey are wary creatures. <laughs> you serious? Anybody else see this shit? easy. That was quick. Not bad. That was a test. I barely broke a sweat. Hey, don't get cocky, hot shot. That was just a primer. As you'd guess, delivering messages will take you through areas swarming with infected. And sometimes at night. For this test, you'll need to pick up five letters that were dropped in a dark zone when the previous carrier was being chased by the infected. You'll need real skills just to survive, let alone succeed. Piece of cake for a pilgrim, though, right? <laughs> yep. This sounds more my speed. I see you soon.
Not bad, hot shot. Not bad. That hardly qualified as a test. Ha! This last one, mate. You come face to face with customers. This is what the job is about. Connecting people through the letters they send and receive. Reconnecting our fractured society, so to speak. This is where you prove your true worth. I can handle it. Believe it or not, I'm sort of a people person. <laughs> oh, you could have fooled me. But I have to admit you're not a fragile type. I'm starting to see some potential. Pull this off, and I might consider letting you take the carrier's oath after all. I just better not get any complaints from the clients. You won't. I promise. That is beautiful. What song is that? Oh, a very old one. Where I come from, the women sing, so their men return home from sea safely. So, you were singing to someone in particular? To my betrothed. Though he will never return again. He died during the bombing of the city. I, uh, I'm sorry. Eleven years have passed and I still think of him. I feel like someone has cursed me. Even the fact that I am here today. That's because of him. How's that? He won't laugh. No. Before the evacuation, I hid a few mementos in a safe at my office. I thought, if I could get them back, all those old thoughts would stop tormenting me. Mementos of him? Yes, letters. They're very personal. Alas, that office building is a complete ruin now. I would have to learn to fly to get in there. Well, I can help you. You could do that. It's that office building over there. Right, in the safe? In my office. Upstairs in the personnel department. Turn the dial twice to the right, once to the left, once to the right. Got that? Can you repeat that? Twice to the right, once to the left, once to the right. Will you remember? I'll remember. It is nice of you to help me. But I don't even know who you are. Uh, my name's Aiden. And I'm Charlotte. Thank you, Aiden. Nah, it's nothing. Wait here for me. Isn't the right department? Oh, 
Alrighty then. What was the code? Twice to the right. Once to the left. Once to the right. Yeah, it worked. Found the safe. Here. These are all of them. You're certain? All the ones from the safe. They're beautiful. The jackass knew how to write. Too bad he didn't only write them to me. You know what he said right before he died? That he loved another woman and regretted she wasn't there beside him. I'll never forgive him for that. What are you doing? Freeing myself from him. Eleven years I've tried to do this. But failed. I've wanted so badly to erase him from my memory, but I keep thinking of these damned letters. The only proof that anything ever bound us. Now he's gone. Without a trace. I... I don't know what to say. Hey! Why the long face? Lighten up, Aiden. You really helped me. I feel like someone has lifted my curse. There were some valuables in the safe, too. Take them if you want. Are you sure? I'm done living in the past. Farewell, Charlotte. Take care. Farewell, Aiden. Carrier here. Here's a message. Thank you. Well, it's about time. 
Um, pardon? It's from my boyfriend. He's finally leaving his wife. Ah, oh, congratulations. My wife and I separated months ago. She was very understanding. I'm just glad Len finally got the courage to be honest to his wife. Now, we can get on with our lives. After all, yeah. Uh. What's the matter? I'm Hugh, and you're the pilgrim who turned on the electricity, right? Word travels fast. Mm -hmm. And word is you, you help people. Sometimes. Is that why you called me? I, I need help. My kid went off the water tower earlier and hasn't come back. I'm worried. How long has he been gone? About six hours now. That's a long time. Wouldn't normally worry. Oh, he's such a strong kid. Built like an ox. But it's been such a long time. Hmm. How old's your son? Does it matter? I just want my kid back. I would take care of it myself, but... Uh, but there are three young children waiting for me at home. I, I can't leave them unattended. Okay. I'll take a look for you. It's not safe here. Let's meet in my place after you found him. It's down on Lower Dam Promenade! What the hell is Supply doing? Delivering lamps ain't a difficult job. Well, 
Does it change anything? It's a good thing I have my job. I have a letter for you. Finally. I'm sorry, sir. I brought the letter as soon as it was given to me. Now, I'm not upset with you. It's my son. Weeks without hearing from him. Thought he was dead. No concern for his father. I'm thankful for you, Carrier. At least now I know my idiot son is still alive. Hey, you. Want to be sent back to the outlets? Keep that fire department. Like a pile of ground beef. What did that to him? Hello, I'm from the Carriers Guild. I have a letter for Barry. Mom? Mommy! It's a letter from Dad! Careful. Don't tear the letter when you open it. I won't, Mom. I swear. Bless you, Carrier. You made my son's day. Hey, Driscoll. Job's done. All packages delivered safely. Well, that's what I want to hear. Come by when you can. I've got something for you. Remember, you can always take the Metro to get here quicker.
One day they might just blow up the dam and flood the entire city. How you doing, Aiden? Good night, Aiden. Stumbled upon a memorial at the intersection of Houndfield Avenue and Mill Street the other day. Say what you want about the PKs, but at least they honor their dead. Why are you just standing there? <laughs> They say keeping goats is where it's at. Did you hear? What are you? Renegades attacked the canteen. Never really thought about it. Nowhere. What? Do you want to dig in Sometimes the dirt for the rest of your life? I forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. But then I see the goddamn UV lights. 
Good seeing you. Hey, I'm Aiden. What's your name? Match. I was asked to bring you home. What about the infected up there? There aren't any. It's safe. Then, uh, I'll just hang here. Tell Hugh I'll, uh, be back later. Look, your father wants you home. He's worried. Hugh ain't my father. I just work for him. Like a slave. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to go back. You can't make me. And what's Hugh's real story? Never mind. I don't want to get other boys into trouble. No, it's okay. You can tell me. Stay out of it, okay? It's none of your business. Fine. I'll talk to him myself. You really want to stay here? Sure. Not my first time alone in the city. I can take care of myself. <laughs> I bet. Hey, Aiden. Thanks for clearing out the infected. No problem, kid. What happened? Where's Match? He says he's not coming back. Doesn't want to work for you anymore. What's he mean, Hugh? None of your business! You made it my business when you sent me after Match. Got me there. So what exactly are you doing with these kids, Hugh? Match seemed desperate not to come back. Fine, I'll tell you. I'm training them to survive. Come again? I've taught him to steal and spy. For you? For anyone who pays. Are you crazy, Hugh? If the peacekeepers catch them, they'll have no mercy. That's the first thing I teach them. How not to get caught. It's a fucked up world, Pilgrim. No one's gonna go easy on these orphans. I'm living proof of that. I teach them how to survive. Isn't that what fathers do for their children? Match doesn't understand that. Not, not now. He's at that rebellious age. When he makes it in the city, he'll realize it's because I prepared him. You're not gonna go after him? I'm not holding anyone here. We're family. Oh, <laughs> 
Thank <laughs> you.